This is one of the most unstable regions in the world. It's always been between empires. The Caucasus region has been between the Persian Empire, the Turkish Empire, the Mongol Empire, the Russian Empire, the Soviet Empire, for years and years and years, for centuries and centuries, for millennia, if you will. Um, this is a fantastically important trade route, not only for energy, but for shipping and other issues. Um, and it's an area of geopolitical competition making sure that these conflicts do not re-erupt or trying to find creative solutions and recommend and advocate for creative solutions is very important um, because if any of these conflicts, for instance, Azerbaijan and Armenia, which have been in a state of war for more than 20 years, um, there is a ceasefire, but if uh, the conflict were to re-erupt on a larger scale, you're talking about possibly a regional war, which could drag in very important regional powers. Sometimes we are able to do work which diplomats in the region are not able to do because of the very specific political, geopolitical questions and geopolitical issues in the region. We have no diplomatic relations between Azerbaijan and Armenia, for instance. So diplomats, if they're based in Azerbaijan or Armenia, cannot visit either country and do not visit, do not deal with the other country, in es essence do not deal with the conflict except from one side. In Georgia there's very limited access to the two entities which have been recognized by the Russian Federation, Abkhazia and South Ossetia. We are one of the few um, NGOs or international organizations which can talk to all sides. And we're in a very unique role in that respect. The past few years we've had cases where, for instance in Georgia, um, there had been a series of arrests on questionable grounds of opposition figures. Um, not anyone of particular notoriety, but there was definitely an established pattern and it was quite obvious that many of the arrests were gratuitous and politically motivated. Um, having very good access to the governments in all three countries of our region, Azerbaijan, Armenia and Georgia, in this case, um, I went directly to the highest levels of the government and raised the issue very forcefully with the government explaining to them that it was neither in the interest of the image of their country, it was neither in the interest of general human values and humanitarian values, and it was definitely not in their political interest to continue these arrests. And um, I was personally promised by the highest levels of the leadership that it would be looked into, and the Security Council, Georgian Security Council was convened several hours after I spoke with the highest officials in the country and within a day there was a committee formed between opposition parties and the ruling party and the charges against perhaps 60 of these 80 opposition figures, activists, uh, were dropped subsequently. We take our recommendations very, very seriously. So we had recently two um, important reports, one on the war between Azerbaijan and Armenia and one on Georgia dealing with both, both uh, its conflict, one paper uh, dealing with Georgia and its conflict with Russia and another one looking at the domestic political situation and stability issues in Georgia. Um, over the last two years we've had three resolutions adopted from our recommendations almost verbatim where the European Parliament the EU Parliament verbatim adopted our recommendations as resolutions and put them in their legal language. So for us that was quite important.